Gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here at the Main Corps. For today's video, we are going to be talking about establishing boundaries. So if you are new here, the Main Corps is a community that is specifically built for men who are digging to their core to find out who it is that they really are, what it is that they really want, and who it is that they really want to become. We are building better men here for the future, so please do subscribe to the channel. Click the bell to be notified for future videos where we talk about three things. That is masculinity, health, and relationships. So again, as I mentioned at the top of the video, today's topic is going to be around establishing boundaries and why that's such an important topic for us as men to understand and implement into our lives. So we're going to cover establishing boundaries in, in, really, in really two different ways, two different avenues. One with relationships, uh, you know, kind of a, 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 a guiding light for why it's an important principle in life, uh, but also how it affects your relationships and really more, uh, more specifically how it affects your relationships with women. So, you know, establishing boundaries is something that we all know is, is something that we have to do. It can be tough um, and, you know, it's, it's something that, that I certainly struggled with uh, back, you know, probably f three, four, five years ago. Um, you know, when I compare who I am now to who I was, uh, I did allow people to take advantage of me, kind of walk all over and uh, treat me the way that they wanted to, say whatever they wanted to, and always uh, with the intention to keep the peace, I didn't stick up for myself and I didn't have a backbone. I didn't, I didn't uh, allow myself to, to uh, let people know that uh, what I was experiencing or how something that they did or felt made me feel, uh, and I just kind of let things go. And it was, it was something that, you know, caused a lot of pain and it's something that, you know, I had to really wrestle with and I, I to some extent, I think I still do. But, um, you know, establishing boundaries is something that is so critically important, not only in our personal lives, but in business, uh, in relationships, it's just, it's just really critical. And where I think many people uh, really struggle with or what I think that it's most important to understand is that there is a good balance between letting people know where your boundaries are and you know establishing them and why that's so important for your health so again uh, as i mentioned a, f a moment ago that's kind of how things used to be with me and uh, as i look back you know i know that i did and i said a lot of things that were a little bit more uh, they certainly came off as weak i didn't know that then i thought it was about being nice and keeping the peace and um, you know, I think that it was just my way of kind of dealing with things. I didn't really engage in any conflict. Uh, not that it had to be like, you know, uh, really intense conflict, just, you know, a disagreement or an altercation. I, I would just kind of like vacate from it. Um, thinking that, you know, keeping the peace or keeping a low profile, uh, making, you know, keeping things copacetic. Uh, making sure that everybody liked me or approved or just keeping the peace was the way to go. And I, I look back on some things and some circumstances, some, some relationships that I was in. Um, and because I was that way, you know, I understood that I had codependent tendencies. And if you don't know what codependency is, I, I'd encourage you to read a book called Codependent No More. Um, it's, a, it's a fairly short read, but uh, when I read that, I better understood why... I was doing the things that I was doing uh, and, and, and why it was so bad for, for my health, uh, my emotional health. Um, it, it really does take a toll on, on your confidence and your understanding of who you are, what you're about, where you're going, uh, because your energy, when you're like that, when you're doing that, when you're people pleasing and, and when you haven't established boundaries, because people don't know how far they can push you or where their limits are, where your limits are, uh, your energy is all wrapped up and is entirely spent on just keeping people happy, keeping the peace. And that may seem a lot easier. Uh, it's making the transition from being a, a codependent or a people pleasing person into you know, somebody who is better about establishing boundaries is possible. It's not something that just happens overnight. It's not, you know, it's going to be, it's a bit of a transition. 
But oftentimes why people don't do it is because they think that they're going to lose people. Oh, if I, if I, if I establish a boundary, if I lay down the law, or if I tell these people no, or if I tell that person no, um, they're going to get pissed and I'm going to lose them. And that honestly may happen, or I may lose the deal. I may uh, not, you know, win out on the, on the contract. Uh, I may, uh, you know, lose this girl in my life. I may piss off my friend. Those things may happen. Um, but if you're speaking, if you're speaking from, from an honest place, uh, it doesn't mean you have to fly off the handle, but if you're speaking from an honest place, hey, I don't like the way that you're treating me. I, I find it to be unacceptable. I don't talk to you that way. That's not what I expect. So like it or not, you know, you don't have to fly off the handle, but you can let somebody know, no, this is not how we do things. This is not how you will talk to me. Um, you know, don't let people just walk all over you. That's what I used to do. Same thing in business. No, that is not a price that works for me. That is, that is not a price that, that, that I'm going to be able to pay, that I want to pay, that I feel is right. So I have to walk away from it. I may lose the deal just like I may lose uh, the relationship, um, but I've stood up for myself and I've, you know, I've, I've made, made it clear where my boundaries are. Um, my energy is not spent in making that particular relationship or, for example, that girl in the relationship. If, if I just let her uh, you know, speak to me or if some, a friend speak to me just any old way that they want, my energy is going to be trying to keep the peace and just trying to keep that person happy, trying to keep that relationship um, copacetic or, or trying to keep that peace at bay. It's not in making sure that like I'm being held accountable. I'm holding that friend accountable. I'm letting them know where I stand. Um, and, and, and moving the, the relationship or friendship forward, progressing at all. Um, it, it doesn't do anything for that other person if you're just going to allow it. Uh, because again, your energy is going to be spent just kind of keeping the peace. They're not learning anything about who you are, what you're about, um, what your limits, your, your boundaries, you, like you, you're just kind of jelly to them. So, um, you're, you're disposable and, uh, it's, you have to let people know where, where you're coming from. Um, it's okay to do that. It can be fearful at times. Um, and you know, if you got a, a deal or if you're working a contract or a sales agreement with somebody through work and there's a lot of commission tied to it, or, um, if you know, you're negotiating on a house or, or a car or whatever it is, and somebody throws out a price or, or they're, they're trying to hardball you, trying to mow you through the ground, trying to bury it down your throat. No, you have to say, Hey, you know, this is what I'm willing to pay. This is what I'm willing to accept. And anything outside of that is no, it is a no. And you have to, you have to stand by that as men, we have to stand by our word. That's we, we give our word and, and we have to stand by it. I've done videos about that, but it's being okay that you, with the fact that you may lose the deal, you may lose the potential commission on that. You may lose the house. You may lose the car. You may lose the girlfriend. You have to be okay with, and you will be okay with losing those things once you've established what your boundary is. So I guess that's maybe the, the, uh, the testimony that, that I can give is personally, when I moved the transition from, okay, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to let them get away with whatever, or I'm just going to pay whatever. I'm just going to, you know, kind of let them walk all over me and not going to stand up for myself, stick up for myself, go for what I want. Um, when I allowed those things to happen, I was much more, I was just miserable. Like I, I really wasn't myself because again, all my energy is trying to make sure that everything's at bay at peace and whatnot, not actually flourishing and uh, standing by my truth, speaking my truth, owning my truth, owning my core. Uh, it was all pent up and me just, you know, trying to make, everyone else's lives happy and not my own. Um, it just slowly but surely just eroded my confidence and my self-esteem. On a daily basis, I didn't really notice it as much. Uh, but over time, like it really did erode it to where I didn't even know like who I really was, what I'm about, what I want. Um, I'm still figuring out what those things are, but I'm at least moving in the right direction. I'm not 
uh, I'm not moving backwards where I feel like I'm less of a person like um, when you let other people or circumstances jerk you around or dick you around like that um, in essence what they're doing is they're trying to establish some sort of hierarchy that says that they're better and or that they have control over you and without telling them no or um, saying that you're not willing to um, they don't know what your limits are. They don't know that they have limits. They don't know where the, the line is to cross. Uh, if they don't like the line, or if um, they're not happy with, with, um, with your request, so be it. But at least they know where you stand. If you look at some of the most successful people in business, or some of the most honest people, um, or some of the best coaches out there, there weren't always, they weren't always your best friend. I think that there's a tendency for people to like, okay, just, you know, we always do a lot to avoid pain. We don't want to hear the things that are painful. We'd rather hear the things that are nice or peaceful or happy. Uh, but that's not really where the getting is good. The getting is good and, the you know, when you hear where people are really at. A coach is to, to better get you where you want to go. A coach is going to give you the honest truth and a good friend is going to give you the honest bits and they're going to be okay with you being honest with them and being upfront with them because you're going to know exactly where you stand and they're going to know exactly where you stand. The most successful people in business, they've established that um, and they stood by that. They were, they were very good about, um, you know, being direct, being upfront, not a belligerent asshole. There's a big difference between being direct and um, being bold and being forward than there is with like just being a jackass. So it's that's the balance. You can ask for what you want. You can tell people no. You can establish ba um, boundaries and voice where you're coming from. You're just they're no better than you are. You are just as important of an entity as a, as a person uh, and as a decision maker uh, for yourself as they are for themselves. Every time that you get a request that seems like it's kind of leaning on you, um, well, obviously they feel valuable enough within themselves to ask that of you or to request that of you. So don't always take the external, um, listen to yourself. If, if it's in conflict with, with where you're at, be okay with no that's that doesn't work for me um over time you'll find out that like you'll actually gain a lot more certainty about yourself a lot more confidence but people because they know where you stand that's where respect comes from we respect the coaches and the people and the friends who give us the honest truth but they're not assholes about it uh, the honest truth is not fun to hear but it is where the growth happens if I don't know that I'm being a bad friend or if I don't know that I'm blowing deals at, in sales, if I don't know that I'm um, causing the team to lose points or to, to lose games, I don't need somebody and it's not good for me in any capacity to hear, oh, everything but the actual truth. To hear that, uh, oh, I had a good play or that you know I, I'm crafting these, e these sales emails really well or whatever the case may be, that doesn't, that's not gonna do anything for me. What's gonna help me is the fact that like, hey man, um, you're fucking up the sales deals. You need to change the way that you're approaching um, prospecting or emailing or whatever. I need, I need to hear that, that's gonna be important. I'm gonna respect that person for having the balls to actually say, yes, dude, this is, you need to actually do this. Um, and it's, it's in an effort to help you. I want my coach to say, Hey man, you got to do a better job blocking. Hey, you got to, you know, you got to train harder. You got to take um, your physical health more serious. You got to, you got to train better. You got to get stronger. I need him to tell me the truth, to be honest with me, because he knows where I want to go and he knows what's going to make me better. So he's going to tell me the honest truth, even if I don't want to hear it. And he's going to let me know where he's coming from. That's, that is, that is the very base genesis and core of what respect is that's how we get respect that's how we give respect is because we know exactly where our boundaries are and we've established them now how this affects us and how it shows up in our relationships particularly with women 
is uh, I've done a lot of videos around what women are looking for in men and it you know what we look for in women is very differently than what uh, women look for in men and a big part probably the biggest thing that they're looking for is tied to protection safety security so I don't mean that you know it's about being six foot and big and bulky and you know there are plenty of women out there I'm sure that you know find that to be protective and safe and secure whatever but it doesn't mean that you have to be that um, where establishing boundaries is most important and where you're gonna see it show up in relationships with women is if they understand that 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 you have the balls and the backbone and the wherewithal to to establish boundaries about yourself about your relationships about your life obviously that shows that you that you value yourself you respect yourself that you take care of yourself that you care about the things and circumstances and people in your life but to her or to women that is a sign and a reflection of your ability to be a protector and to provide a secure space um, we have to understand that providing a secure being a secure man is facilitating through life and being able to create protection around the things and people and circumstances that are within our lives as men um, not only is that important to her because she's going to you know feel safer because you're a man about the town who knows how to get shit done who knows how to draw the line knows how to say no uh, that is a form of protection you're 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 thinking about things outside of uh, certainly about yourself but you're thinking about things outside of yourself too the people that that are in your life um, you, you know your kids your uh, your friends your family you care enough about those things to stand up for them to protect them that is a form of protection to make sure that the people around you are not being taken advantage of or they're not taking advantage of you that is a form of secure protection and that's how women see it um, additionally you know a big part about being a, a very uh, good man is consistent and in line with being a good father uh, personally I'm very excited about being a dad uh, I get more excited about uh, bringing kids up in the world than sometimes I do about marriage but you know I may not <laughs> I may have it out of order I don't know but uh, usually one happens before the other one but uh, you know for me I'm really looking forward to that and I know that the only way that I will get there the only way that I can really provide that that great thriving safe place for them to grow up and learn and be loved and um, let them explore is if I become the most well-rounded balanced man on my own it's it really starts with me uh, the king eats first and, and it starts with the king right we have to that's we have to treat it that way um, she the the women women apart from seeing that as uh, as a um, as an aspect of you being a protection a protector uh, taking care of those things she also is going to see that as your ability to be a good father so if you can't tell yourself no or if you can't tell her no or your business partners no or your friends no or people no if you can't stand up for yourself and establish boundaries and 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 let people know where they stand and whether or not things are okay with you if you can't do that with yourself or any of those other people or her in your life how the fuck are you going to be able to do that with kids so understand that like it's it there's a balance but that in relationships and particularly with relationships with women these are the things that provide a safe secure place for them and how they view them it's not that you're being an ass or that you're being strict or stringent um, there's a balance and once you establish that these are the things that make you attractive not only as a mate uh, who knows how to provide and protect uh, and 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 a secure place um, but it's also giving her the impression and, and letting her know that this is something that that is part of your life and it's something that that you'll do with your kids that's important to her um, that is that's something that that she's going to see as a safe secure protected place 
because again, establishing boundaries. You could think of it just like you know, a fence around um, yourself and a fence around the people and circumstances of, uh, that you love and, and your life. Um, that is a form of secure protection for her. So um, if we're trying to become good fathers or better negotiators, better in business, if we're trying to get to where we wanna go, it's okay to establish boundaries. I know it can be tough and I still struggle with it too, but um, it's so critically important to our emotional health, to our relationships, our friendships, our business partners, our success, uh, our relationships with women, uh, how we show up as, as men in the relationship, how we are as men in, in fatherhood, uh, and all of those things together are really at the core of what, we're, what we wanna do and what we wanna improve here at the channel. So uh, I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, please let me know what you guys think. And uh, if uh, you are struggling with any, you know, establishing your own boundaries, any challenges, uh, videos that you want me to do here at uh, the Man Corps in the future, I would love to hear um, from you personally. So please do share your comments uh, and do share the channel with anybody that you think would value greatly or appreciate the content that we have here at the Man Corps. I have to run, my good fellas, but I appreciate your time. Thank you for being with me today. And don't be afraid to establish your own backbone and let people know where you stand. Establish your boundaries. You will be so glad you did. Very well. Cheers, fellas. I gotta run.